But if we give our heart to Jesus, we give our life to Him, a new power takes possession of the mind. A new power takes possession of the heart. And we have power that can resist the enemy and we can live a perfectly obedient, loving, kind life in the midst of a world that is influenced by the spirit of Satan. He says in the Old Testament, a new heart, verse 26, also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away that hard heart of yours, that stony heart out of your flesh, and I'll give you a sweet and sensitive heart. He calls it a heart of flesh. And I'll put my spirit within you, and I will cause you to walk in my statutes, and you will keep my judgments and do them. That's our only hope to return to heaven. John saw in the book of Revelation, Jesus telling him that blessed is he that keepeth my commandments that he may have a right to the tree of life and enter in to the garden, enter into the gates, into the city. Again, we read, this is the covenant, verse 16, that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws into their hearts and in their minds will I write them and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. What a wonderful privilege we have as human beings. We've sinned against God, we've broken his holy law, and yet, through the love of Christ, he'll give us a brand new mind and make us capable of, of living with holy beings and going to heaven. Verse 17, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature or a new creation. The old things are now passed away. Behold, everything, all things become new. God is going to make you into a whole new person. He's inviting each one of us to come to him to take up that Bible and to, to learn of Jesus in it, to study, to know Christ in it. And as we behold Jesus in the Bible, as we study to know him prayerfully, asking the Spirit to guide us, our lives, our minds change. And our lives become transformed into the very mind and the heart of Jesus Christ. I know it sounds magical or supernatural, it is magical and supernatural. It is powerful. It's not anything we can do for ourselves. But if you'll just make it an experiment in your life, even if, you, if it's hard for you to grasp at this time, do it. Take that Bible and go home and go to your knees and begin to study to know Jesus Christ and ask His Spirit to give you wisdom and guidance. And He'll do it. He'll give you a new mind and a whole new life. A whole new experience is waiting for you. That peace and the happiness that you've looked for by trying to please yourself all this time, you're going to find it in receiving the mind of Christ and giving up on yourself. And friends, not only will it make this life happier as you're freed from the power of the enemy, but it'll give you eternal life, a return to the beautiful Edenic home and, and the earth made new someday. Don't lose this opportunity. Jesus' arms are just opening to you and he's inviting you to come to him. Just, just give him a chance. Just go to him and give Jesus a chance. Take this opportunity, will you, to come to Christ. Let's kneel and pray together, shall we? Dear Father in heaven, I know these things sound strange and new to the folks that have come here. I know, dear Lord, that that this is new to them, that, that Lucifer has become Satan and he's the religion of the serpent in this world, the teachings of the immortality of the soul and the cults and the pagan teachings of the world. And I pray, dear Lord, that you'll move upon each heart here in this world to, or this room to, to take that step and to come to Christ to open up their hearts and to give Jesus a chance. Please move upon their hearts to do that, dear Lord, so they can find the happiness that I found in Him. I pray that not one here, Lord, will be lost in that day when you create this earth new again and Eden again exists in this world and we can all be home together. These things I pray in Jesus' name, amen.